I could think of a student who recently graduated from our school, and I'm still beaming thinking about his story and how he came to find our school, and it completely changed his life. And that's his word. He was probably around maybe 13 or something like that, or 12 when he came to our school, and. It took him a while to realize what wasn't working for him at mm. the previous schools, and after he like, you know, stumbled upon our website and read about what democratic school or free school or self-directed education is about, and he just kind of wanted to give it a try. And mm. he, you know, has a very specific characters, and also loves a couple subjects that and are really good at it, and felt like. A lot of the experience that he had from previous schools didn't just meet his need. And apart from that, like the social environment, the friendship, everything feels very hard mm. to make it the way that he wanted. And as soon as he found our school, it wasn't that everything instantly became a miracle or a magic, <laughs> but it is bits by bits of this learning. It is this like slow transformation and realization of. Himself, who he is, and what he's capable of, and what he can offer, and how to be a part of a community, and still finding his own voice and following his own path and dreams about things that interest him, and it. I had an opportunity to actually did an interview for new families who would like to join our school, and we had some students, you know, attending as part of. Just is either either sitting in to like listen or provide some per perspective, but he chose to to say something to that that prospective family and mentioned how this school has changed his life, and he just never thought that it could be it could be like this. And so, and he you know kind of continued with us a few more years, and finally started the graduation process and follow his dream and path and. Now it's moved on to college. I know that even though maybe he might have been in a different, like you know, traditional previous schoolings, he probably would still get where he wanted to go. But maybe the the three or four or five years, he might probably have felt a lot of confusion, a lot of maybe uncertainty, and who knows what that would do to his sense of self and his sense of his own. You know, ability to achieve things in the world, and he also became. He just said that I'm just happy, like to mm. to be here, and you know, to kind of like that's like that's something that I know it, it's like a fuel for me being a part of this community, continue doing this work. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.